Oromia Ababia Mata Oromo Moti Oromo Abbasena Abbasera Magar Sabia Abdi Oromia Gachana Biya Kenya Abdi Hunda Kenya Rabbira Kenna Kenya Sanyi Tade Biru Abba Milki Abba Murti and it reads down Lama Magarsa the first letters uh, read Lama Magarsa yeah why Lama this way why well Lama is a, a hero for me a hero for Oromos, a hero for every nation, a hero for Amara, Oromo, Grage, Tigre, and all nations and nationalities and peoples of Oromo, uh, peoples Ethiopia. of Ethiopia. And he's a hero of Africa, and he's a hero of Gov to me. Why? Good. To say somebody a hero, there are some parameters, right? When you live for others, this makes you different. Did Lama live for others? Yeah, to me, uh, so far, what I understand is Lama is living for his country. Lama is living for his nation. He's working down in the dusk. He's struggling for the change, and he is the leader of the change. He's a very good driver uh, to bring the change, and he's a good leader. He's not a boss. So for me, such a person is the leaders, that's, that, is, that, is, that is why I appreciate uh, uh, Team Lama is entitled from the practical work that this team has brought a relative change for this country, has fought for the struggle of, uh, has fought for the freedom of uh, nations and the nationalities and the people. So, we are coming to the brighter part of the world from the dark one. So such heroes must be considered. And they must be appreciated when they are alive. All right? That's why I'm giving this attention in my fire Romia or the beautiful Romia. There are a lot of heroes, including Lama, Dr. Abi, Jawar, and others. And when I say this, I'm going to uh, I have to make clear that these are, not, these, these are not the only heroes in Ethiopia. There are a lot of heroes in Ethiopia. Because I'm writing in a fan Oromo, and my topic is directly related with Oromia, that's why I'm appreciating the heroes in, Ethiop uh, in, in, uh, in Oromia. Oromia. So uh, on top of this, I would like to say that there are a lot of heroes in Amara, in Tigray, in uh, uh, South Nation nationalities and the peoples in Somalia, in Afar, in everywhere in Gambela, there are a lot of heroes to be considered and appreciated. So what I'm talking right now on this point of discussion is just my point of view is in Oromia. That's why I'm you, talking only about you, Lama. You contributed your share, and others can also write about other heroes and heroines in the regional states. And that totality brings to the heroes in Ethiopia. And he did a lot of things like Abdisa said, Lama Magersa Wako. Now, um, actually, he uh, dropped out from a university studying his PhD. Uh, Let's, let's go to this uh, publication. Uh, many uh, Oromo books are not being published. Why do you think our, our, our uh, books are not coming out in a fan Romo? Yeah, there are a lot of limitations in writing a fan Romo. Um, while I was teaching in Ambo University, uh, I made a mini research uh, on different languages, and especially uh, for students uh, who came from different parts of the country, especially from countryside. So uh, with my mini research, the findings uh, indicate that a lot of students who came from countryside uh, have got poor achievement in either of the languages or in three of the languages. The first one is in English. They are poor at English. So the findings indicate that uh, there is something to do with, 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 with uh, the curriculum. Uh, so the problem indicate that uh, we need to have you know, curriculum reform as English uh, teaching is considered. Because you know, as, as I mentioned before, English for our country is a foreign language. So the curriculum must be designed in such a way in order to make the student active learners, but 
existing curriculum, especially the curriculum uh, which were being used five years before, were directly traditional approach, uh, which is grammar based, that cannot help students learn language, but instead it made a student to memorize the language. And only pass the exam. Uh, only to pass the exam. And they study only to pass grade 10, grade, uh, grade 8, grade 10, grade 12, and only to graduate from the university. There is something to be done as curriculum reform is considered. To fill, to fill that gap. And the other is uh, America's language. It's not something else. It is like a phonoma, it is like uh, uh, English, it is like French. We study French abroad, we study Chinese and whatever. Language basically is an instrument to do something. It is a means to do something. It's simply a tool. Simply a tool to do something. That is for you. So, studying America is, is, is necessary for everyone. All right? So, uh, we need to adjust our teacher to learn language. Well, language values equally. It is your attitude to learn a language. And it is your objective to give priority. For example, if you do have the objective to live abroad, to go to America and to do something, be it business, politics, economics, or whatever is it, you may give no attention to English. If you live in your country, we need all language equally and importantly. We acquire language inborn from our parents, from society. That is like, you know, na native language speakers. The vernacular, the second Yeah, say, yeah, yeah. They, they learn everything from the society. They learn by doing. They learn situations. But in our country, that thing doesn't hold true with, with uh, learning. Some skills are learned in school. For example, reading is basically learned in school. Right. Let's come to our, our, our uh, main theme. Publications in Afanormo are not even with those misspelled, uh, misspelled words. Whatever they are. Whatever they are, they are not on market. Why, what do you think are the problems for that absence? Well, the experience of our society to read is uh, relatively not less. Uh, our society uh, need to be appreciated, need to be motivated. Because, you know, uh, a country is developed when a society uh, reads, when a society writes. So the, the experience of our society to read and to write is less. That is one thing. And the other thing is uh, the, the, the economic power. The economic power. We do have a lot of uh, authors and writers. Uh, we can write much beautiful. Uh, we can write beautiful essays, we can write, we can develop beautiful books. That is not a big deal. Even if the experience of writing uh, varies from a writer to a writer, a lot of people can write. But the problem is, the big problem is economic problem. And uh, now times, uh, the printing houses make you pay a lot of money. And this time, the printing cost is, uh, the printing cost is costlier than uh, any time else. But you published over 20 books. Yeah, I did it. I do have my own uh, effort of my own. <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, the, 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 the gap is that we do have many rich people. So then the rich people, the businessmen, must share, their, must take their own uh, share, must help the writers. In, in, in becoming a sponsor, right? So we don't have many sponsors as, as, as uh, foreign countries are considered, right? So even in Amharic language here in, uh, in, in Fifine, you see? It's better, maybe a better, yeah, but better. the same thing is true with Amharic too. Yeah. So uh, a little bit, uh, is, is the burden is in Oromo writers. Writers are the backbone of a society, as journalists are too. So uh, they must be encouraged. They must be more better. Uh, not uh, a big deal, but money makes things easier, right? Sure. So to make to make things easier, uh, we need to help each other. So my message.
to Oromo rich people, to Oromo business people is that let's encourage the writers and our artists so that we can develop beautiful books, beautiful uh, artists too. This is my message. That's why the problem. And the other is the distribution. The, gover the government must take its own role as distributing the books is considered. There are constraints as transport is considered. I'm a writer. I write whatever my book is, whatever the content is. But I can't knock every door to make accessible, uh, to make the, the books available everywhere. What I've been doing so far is like carrying my books with my box, pushing my bags and luggage to everyone's door. Yeah, showing the people that uh, showing you're good the at people, this and that. Convincing the people, right? Making marketing. You are a writer, you are a seller, you are a market person, and you do everything. This, this makes you tired, right? This makes you tired. So, the writers need help. Government intervention is important. The government intervention is must if, if the development of this country is needed. If really democracy is needed to be practiced. Why? The writers read and write about democracy. The writers read about social, economical, and political affairs. So whatever they are, if they are encouraged, appreciable, and if they are the stakeholders from the government, NGOs, and the business people, things will be easier and easier. And that would be better and better to do things uh, uh, to help in such a way. Thank you. How many languages can you speak? Well, I can speak uh, three uh, different languages, including my first time of Anoromo. And then I learned Amharic from school. That is uh, a very good chance for me to learn Amharic. And the third is English, and I learned English from grade three. What about Sidamia? Sidamia, I speak a little bit uh, Shima Shima. Shima Shima Kalegenomo. Okay. Galantemo, Galantemo. Lugesha Galantemo. Thank you so much. Because your birthplace is uh, Kloda and neighbor of the Sidama people around Arbegona and other territories, I know those boundaries. Uh, the final question What will you wish your country to be and what is your plan in the future? Well, uh, first, I believe in we, not in me. So first I have to wish a very good wish for my country. I wish my country to be a democratic country, a developed country, a peaceful country, right? In which people uh, live in harmony, in peace, in love, though there are a lot of differences and uh, diversities. We got a lot of differences like attitude, religion, color, accent, language, whatever is it, this don't mean that they gap our unity. So I need Ethiopia to be a united country and I need and I wish for Ethiopia a true, a real federalism in which people are assumed brotherly, sisterly, and live respecting each other. And for myself, uh, so far, I've been a teacher. I've taught for many years in different schools, so as I've said, from grade one to the university. I Kirza the university and I'm working as a full-time writer right now. That is good. I'm working for myself and for my society, for my country, as far as uh, my knowledge is considered. But in the future, uh, I used to be uh, either uh, a education minister of Ethiopia or I used to be a very good diplomat of Ethiopia. Uh, to, to, to advertise uh, Ethiopia to the world because this is a beautiful country, because this is a, a country which is rich in, in resources, in natural resources, because this is a country of uh, diversity, getting you know, different uh, nations, nationality, and people. 
So this must be in, must be uh, must be promoted. Uh, promoted to the world. Yes, I need a very good help from you. So this must be promoted, and uh, to do this, you must be a very good diplomat, and I hope I will be. So after here, uh, so far I've been living for myself, and after here, I wish and I dream to live for my country and for my society, and hopefully, in the near future, with a struggling started by all nation, nationalities, and people, uh, Ethiopia will be a very beautiful country. That's what I wish for my country. Wish you the best. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you too. Well, viewers, I talked to a writer, an academician, Abdisa Guye Arce, who wrote over 20 books. And he's the father of four, in fact, that we didn't raise. And he has a plan to be either Minister of Education of Ethiopia or to be a diplomat of the country to promote this wonderful nation, the land of origins. And we raised a lot of things about quality education, we raised about uh, quality of English language learning in Ethiopia, and from elementary to um, so even the universities and colleges. And we talked about politics, we touched it of course, and social, political, and economic issues have been uh, raised in our discussion. I hope you've enjoyed that interview with Abdisa Guye Arce. I'm Anwar Khalil, Louis Thank you for watching. Have a good time. Bye-bye.